has the internet impacted maybe this dialogue? And you mentioned working at a, a weekly paper. How has it affected your business? Well, the one thing, of course, the internet has enlarged enormously the possibilities to get information. On the other hand, it becomes more and uh, it becomes harder and harder uh, to find out uh, how relevant these informations are or, or how fact-based these informations are and, and it needs special professional skills to find out on the one hand the big um, the, 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 the big mass of information which is very good but on the other hand to find out which is which are relevant informations and uh, a second thing is that especially in, in, in religious conflicts you can spread so much false information via the internet uh, to people who cannot reflect because they don't have the information, they don't, they don't have the knowledge that it is uh, very important to find ways to, to overcome these, these failures of the internet. Yeah. How has new media impacted the way that you're trying to work with such dialogues? Yeah, I think new media are uh, opening up uh, a lot of things. They are much more diverse and it gives everyone a voice or everyone can go on the internet and do whatever he or she wants to do. But of course the problem with the new media is that it's less a collective experience. With the traditional media, at least till now, you can have, like here in Holland, you can have with a program two million viewers. And it's uh, very difficult on the new media to have like that. Sometimes you have on YouTube or uh, you can have a lot of viewers. But uh, in a country, mostly um, the new media, uh, they, they, they have their own thing. It's not a collective thing. Yeah. How do you think that new media with internet um, publishing and media's role on these new platforms, how do you see this impacting dialogue? I think new media on the whole presents a great challenge to professional journalism. And in my view, it's an obligation on the part of professional journalists to study and analyze the new media, not to say it's not ours, and find ways of bringing in their voices in this new media because that's the only way they can try to influence it. Whether it's by way of blogs or whether it is by way of presence in different spaces that exist uh, to give a certain depth and dimension to the kind of interfaith dialogue that we are talking about. This morning we spoke about the internet and it can be an open sewer to some because uh, um, once you uh, have a, uh, once you have a polarization in a society, for instance, in this society about Islam and the political role of Islam and all the misconceptions about that, you find that uh, once you publish stories on the net and you give everybody access to comment on it, you get all kinds of abuse. So you have to moderate it in a sensible way. At the same time, you have questions about freedom of expression. We have seen, of course, the riots in Denmark. We have. We've had some incidents here. Uh, recently, a cartoonist has been arrested because uh, his, his drawings uh, were anti-Muslim. And um, I think, for me personally, it's very important that uh, freedom of expression is guaranteed, guaranteed by uh, the Constitution, uh, but it doesn't mean that you have to use it in any way you think fits. Uh, but that's the responsibility of a citizen of a medium. You have to, you, you have to uh, stop talking about the media. You have to talk about specific media who are sensible or less sensible.